Hey, this is The Fight Nerd. I'm here at 8 Bitten Up Video Games at 35 St. Mark's Place, New York City, with K1 Legend and World Series of Fighting President, Mr. Ray Seffo. Ray, how's it going today? Good, good. Thanks for having me here. Now we're going to be playing some games in a little bit. We're going to play some old K1, and uh, we're going to see who the champion is. Me. But until then, let's first talk about World Series of Fighting 2. Oh, he's, you he's, might be the champion. <laughs> <laughs> see, the only time I ever beat Ray Seffo in my life, I'll take what I can get. So yeah, this weekend, New York City, or New Jersey, rather, New Jersey, uh, at uh, the Revel, going to have World Series of Fighting 2. This is a big, big event, and we're going to start things off main event. Of course, Anthony Johnson, right in the shirt, Anthony Johnson, Andre Arlovsky. This is a huge heavyweight match. I mean, how did you get these two guys together? Well, you know, uh, after Andre's last fight at 205, and I think being his third or fourth successful fight at that weight, uh, one of the reporters, you know, asked him, uh, would he try, you know, being fighting a heavyweight? He says, he says yeah, well, uh, why not? And then somebody threw out um, Andre Alaski's name, and he's like, yeah, that could possibly happen. Um, so when we were matching this card up, we talked to the two guys. They both agreed on it. And, you know, <clears throat> I think it's a great fight. It's an exciting fight. I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, uh, <laughs> you can't please everybody. You know, there are people out there that would say that it's, you know, it's it's a pointless fight, but these guys, what I don't understand is that these guys still got to put in a uh, 10-week camp. They still got to go through their normal training um, and all the sacrifices that's needed to get ready for a fight. So you can't say it's meaningless because these guys are they're there to fight, you know what I mean? And so I think it's going to be a great fight. I look forward to it, and um, it's going to be a, an exciting night all all around. I mean, like the whole card is stacked. Um, uh, Marlon Moraes and uh, Tyson Nam is co-main. That fight is going to be an exciting fight. Um, could possibly be the fight of the night. Uh, you have Josh Berkman versus Aaron Simpson and J.C. Cavalcanti versus a young talent uh, in Justin Cagey, who's seven and zero. Um, most of his fights are. Well, all of his fights are either stoppage or uh, submission. So, uh, you know, we're, we're looking to not only promote the, the, the big names, but also uh, build our own young champions. Now, just jump back a little bit onto that main event a little bit more. Uh, you know, Andre Olovsky right now, training with Greg Jackson. This is essentially the, the second coming of Andre Olovsky, you know, with Jackson. Uh, would you agree with that statement? Is this, a, is this a new Andre Olovsky that we're seeing nowadays? Uh, absolutely. You know, uh, the thing is with, with fighting is that you go through a high in your career. You, you start here and you get to there. And then sometimes you plateau. Sometimes you drop a little bit. But, you know, like Andrea, Andrea said, that um, there was a point where, you know, he hit the, the lows. And um, what made him more, I guess, hungry and motivated was one of his close friends said, said to him, it's time to hang it up. He talks to Greg Jackson about it, and Greg says, listen, why don't we go see a doctor, have everything checked out. So they checked out, you know, his from his head to his toe, everything, he was healthy as you can be. So, you know, uh, they got back into camp, and uh, that was the, the beginning of his second coming, if you will. And uh, up to, to now, uh, the guy is hungry and more determined than ever. So... Uh, you know, Andre, Andre is in a good place, and uh, not only physically, but also mentally. And obviously, a, a huge uh, amount of that's to Greg Jackson, who's done a great job, not only training the guy, but also helping him mentally uh, overcome certain obstacles that he had to face. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think we we, we look forward to. Uh, I look forward to you know, a uh, a Andre Alaski that not only a lot more mature now than his earlier days but has the same in the food package that he bought, which is fight and knock people out. So I think it's going to be an exciting fight. That being said, Anthony Johnson is a beast himself, so it'll be a great fight. Also in the cardio, Paolo Filo coming back out of retirement against Dave Branch. How did you get Paolo out of retirement? Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, well, actually, we didn't get him out of retirement. Uh, he uh, just fought in September uh, against Ninja, and uh, I think, I, from what I understand, I think he stopped Ninja in the first round or something like that. Um, I, I didn't get to talk to him. Ali Abdullahis, who's our matchmaker, and um, made that connection and uh, talked to his team about where he's at mentally and what's his stability like and what have you. And everybody uh, was saying that he's in a good place. He's uh, understanding where he wants to go in this career. And uh, he wants to give this last 
three or four years of his career the best run he can. And uh, what better stage than, you know, uh, NBC Sports Network So, and with Wizards of Fighting. So we're really, um, that's another, uh, you know, a, a huge matchup that I'm looking forward to as well, his return and where he really is at. And we, you know, people can say whatever, but you never know until that bell rings. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. That being said, David Branch is, a, you know, he's a monster himself and uh, a great fighter. And um, uh, you know, uh, reports that I get, he's a beast in the gym. And so uh, that's another fight to really look forward to. I'm just happy that you use the word stability, so that I didn't have to try and use it in a question. So <laughs> let's talk about the lightweights. Also, Tyson Nam, Marlon Moraes, World Series of Fighting, basically has a new star out of Marlon Moraes. Uh, so let's talk about this, this uh, lightweight matchup. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Marlon Moraes came out of nowhere, and nobody really knew who he was. He goes up, we match him up against uh, Miguel Torres, and he did his thing. Uh, he really showed up that night. He really showed the world that he's not only a force to be reckoned with, but also uh, that he has something to prove, uh, not only to himself, but also to the world at large, that he's here to stay. And, uh, you know, the first thing, I, I walked into the ring, and the, and I said, congratulations. And he says, I'm a huge fan of yours. I said, I just became a fan of yours. Uh, you know, that was an amazing um, uh, display of talent and, and the way he fought. And then Tyson Nam coming off, you know, a, a huge win, knocking out the Bellator champion. So, you know, those two guys, honestly, I think uh, could possibly be the fight of the night. So uh, this is ex exciting, exciting card. I mean, uh, I won't miss it, so don't miss it. If um, you're stuck there, no matter what, you got to be there. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, it's live on NBC Sports Network. Uh, the world at large, if you're from anywhere in Europe or the South Pacific or Asia, you can uh, watch this live on SureDog.com and uh, enjoy the show. It's gonna be a big, big show. And uh, meanwhile, though, moving ahead for the future of World Series of Fighting, UFC cut a bunch of guys. World Series of Fighting jumped in, got a lot of big new names, including John Fitch. Let's just kind of run down who you guys have signed officially. Maybe you can tell us a few new ones, maybe if you want. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, there is discussions in the morning with a f you know a few other people, but that being said, uh, I mean this is what we do anyway. Uh, oh, Every day we get at least 50 or 60 guys presented to us from the world at large. Um, we have contacts all over the world with you know talent and managers and trainers and so on, and as well as here in the U.S. And so um, finding talent is ain't, and it's never a problem because there's so much talent out there. And I, I say this from time to time again: this sport is the fastest growing sport in the world at the moment. It's going to continue growing for the next 10 to 20 years. Reason being is because it's not boxing pulling from boxing. It's not kickboxing pulling from kickboxes. It's mixed martial arts pulling from judo, karate, kung fu, jiu-jitsu, uh, wrestling, uh, kickboxing. Bo like you name it, it's, there's so much more uh, variety of martial arts to pull from, and hence the reason why this you know this sport is going to continue growing. And if we look. If we look, we go back 10 years ago to where it is today, the game has evolved so much. Everybody knows how to stand. Everybody knows how to go, go to ground. Everybody knows how to defend, scramble. You know, you name it, uh, everybody's doing everything. So, uh, this, uh, like I said, the sport's going to continue growing, and um, uh, I look forward to the, you know, to that growth. You guys just got, what was it? It was John Fitch. I know for sure. I got Jacob Volkman, Jorge Santiago. Anybody I'm missing here? Um, no, you got it all. Um, Anybody you want to maybe break the news with? I don't know. Well, um, there's nobody. I mean, you know, the, uh, this offer's been put out there, but that being said, uh, it's the same as overseas. Uh, again, um, we, uh, <laughs> we talk to guys every day, uh, to managers, should I say. And so. Uh, there's a lot of exciting things happening coming forth for versus of fighting um, in the near future, not only um, here in the U.S., but there's also a lot of uh, talks that we're going to travel uh, going back and forth. Um, you know, we're going to travel the world next year. Um, and there's just, you know, uh, things in place for Brazil, Israel, uh, Dubai, Australia, New Zealand, Japan. So it's, you know... Um, Obviously for us, our main goal is this year is to focus on our American market, um, establish the brand here and, uh, and our guys, and uh, then next year we look to uh, move globally. Are there any plans for maybe a Grand Prix at some point this year or a World Series Fighting Championship belt? That's a, yeah, absolutely. That's going to happen uh, probably by our fourth event. We'll look at you know putting a belt around somebody. Uh, that being said, the Grand Prix thing you're talking about, 
uh, it's definitely going to happen. We originally, the, 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 the structure of Wizards of Fighting was going to be tournament scenarios. Um, obviously, it, it took longer than we expected to put things together. Um, and so the format changed. But that being said, uh, the, the tournament scenario is still going to happen. Um, it probably won't. Actually, 100% is not going to happen this year. But next year, we're, uh, if it's, uh, we'll definitely look at uh, doing something by the end of next year. What weight class do you know yet? Um, that, that's actually a good question. Most likely, uh, we'll look at the 55s and the, the 170s because, you know, that's where th the, there's so many of that, that weight class. Uh, the, 145, uh, the 155, 170, 185. Um, so most likely be that kind, you know, out of those three weight classes that we'll start first. It's going to be awesome stuff. Now, uh, back on to John Fitch, one of your new signees. Bellator actually passed on John Fitch. Uh, so how come World Series jumped in and said, we definitely want this guy? Well, what's your personal opinion of Fitch as well with that? Well, I mean, first of all, John Fitch is not only – I had the opportunity to meet him in Japan uh, three weeks ago when I was there with Brad Tavares and got to talk to him a little bit. Super nice guy, uh, real soft-spoken. Um, that being said, listen, um, he's – He's one of the top ten best fighters in the world. So, how do you pass on a guy like that? Um, it's beyond me. But uh, one man's loss is another man's gain, and so um, we're happy to have him, and we're honored to have him, and uh, uh, we look for uh, look forward to having him on uh, the cards in, in, in June. Actually, we're, we're talking about so uh, things. You know, for for us, it's just moving forward slowly is uh, the key, and. Um, we got to crawl before we walk, and we said that from from the get-go, and that's exactly what we're doing, um, just taking one step at a time. Now, the show this weekend is going to be in New Jersey, but meanwhile, we're here in New York today uh, where MMA is still illegal. And I know you've, uh, you're up in Albany, I believe, also discussing this uh, with some politicians. So, I mean, just give us your thoughts on MMA in New York. Is it going to happen? What's the big problem in the first place? I, I think it's going to happen uh, eventually. Um, I, I, I think it's, uh, I don't see why it shouldn't happen. Uh, reason being is because it's the fastest growing sport in the world right now. It's going to continue to grow. Um, it's not only great for the actual state, for the fighters. Um, can you imagine having, you know, a worse of fighting at, uh, in the Madison Square Garden? I mean, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's a dream come true for a lot of fighters. See, I would love to fight on that card, you know what I mean? So, um, that being said, I, I support it 100% that I think it should be legalized in, in, in New York, New York City. And, um, and uh, you know, let the city uh, um, enjoy uh, not only the, the growth of what mixed martial arts is, but that being said, there's so many, there's so much talent in this region, you know, also. So um, fingers crossed that uh, at some point it's going to be legalized. Uh, we're all hoping so. Now let's let's go back to the shirt real quick for the last question here. Andre Arlovsky, Anthony Johnson, Ray Sefo. Who's your pick? Um, <laughs> you're putting this me, question. You're putting me on the spot here. Listen, uh, I think they're great fighters. Uh, I like both guys. Um, That's not a pick, Ray. I'm not picking. <laughs> I, I like both guys, and uh, may the best man win. <laughs> I'll take it. It's good enough. Ray, thank you very much. Thank you. World Series of Fighting 2 going to be in at the uh, it's Revel Hall, Atlantic City, yeah. New Jersey, March 23rd. G give us the plug. Uh, yes, it's uh, Revel <laughs> Resorts at Atlantic City, uh, March 23rd, which is this Saturday. You can watch it live on NBC Sports Network. Uh, if you're in Europe somewhere, you can watch it on SureDog.com or uh, Asia or the South Pacific. Uh, if you're in North America, absolutely, you can watch it on um, NBC Sports. Uh, but you're gonna, you can watch, uh, if you're in North America, you can watch, a, uh, watch the prelims on SureDog.com also. So, but the rest of the world, is they can watch it on SureDog.com. Um, we'll be there in person watching it live. Yeah, exactly. So uh, enjoy the show. And uh, I, I want to thank all the fans and, and the media for all the love and support that the World Series of Finance has been getting from day one. You guys are truly amazing. So thank you all. And uh, I wish you guys the best. And God bless. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us some awesome fights, and I look forward to what else you guys got the rest of this year and moving forward. Thank you. Thank you.